Thank you kindly. Okay, we'll call this Parks and Rec Committee meeting to order. Um, we've got a quorum at least. We're just missing Madam Superdan. So outside of that, she'll probably pop in shortly. So with that being said, uh, did everybody get a chance to read the, the minutes of the last meeting? Or, and if so, did anybody have any corrections or adjustments that we need to make to the, min to the minutes? And none. Yeah. Okay. None. Okay. So with that being said, the minute stands approved. Gary, let's go ahead and hop into this meeting because I know we all kind of moving pretty quickly. So I'll let you go ahead and take it from there. Okay. Okay. The first uh, discussion item was the Boundary Waters, our new activity center. Uh, yep. Happy to report that we got our CO yesterday. The elevator was approved and uh, by the uh, state and then by our local fire marshal. So. Uh, we do have an occupancy permit. Um, with that being said, there's a, a, the uh, punch list is about 99% complete. Uh, so uh, we have just one or two items that uh, we still want to get someone to look at and make sure, uh, get the architect to look at, at actually, mm -hmm. and uh, to sign off on or to come to some kind of resolution. It's not, it's not anything big, but it's, something we want to address. So uh, uh, the other uh, thing I wanted to uh, bring up is the fact that we're getting close to the temporary or the date we, temporary date, if you will, or the date that we, not a, not a uh, hard opening date, but a soft opening date. I think at this point, I would like to recommend that we talk to uh, Madam Subedan and move that back um, due to the fact that everything we start to do is the lead time on invitations on things that we need for the opening is extending, is getting longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have held off on that because <clears throat> doing a lot of that stuff because we didn't know when we were going to get an occupancy permit and when uh, everything was going to be approved. So uh, I did email your guest speaker, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, and I've made contact with him, but I wanted to hold off uh, on contacting him until we got the occupancy permit, mm -hmm. which was, of course, yesterday. So mm -hmm. I want to touch base with him today and see if he is firm on that the date, or if he could, uh, is he flexible in terms of moving the date back and uh, see where we stand on that. Uh, your thoughts? I, I'm, I'm open, like I said, uh, really it gonna, it'll, I guess that determining factor will be kind of his timing and his scheduling to see can we fit him in. And if he's also willing to kind of pull this off for us, I've got somebody else on the hook as well, but I would just okay. like, just to make sure that we are sure to go ahead and get this grand ribbing cutting opening, I guess, done. Right, right. I think it would just be serving everyone well, not to try to rush. And then we run into a problem. Uh, I know we're a little more than al almost three weeks out, but uh, less than three weeks out. And they're talking about invitations taking two weeks, uh, you know, to get printed and so forth. So, um, so, so you, you're telling me it'll take two weeks to print invitations? Yes, the company that prints the, we're doing a formal invitation as well as a general invitation, mm -hmm. uh, sending a formal in, invitation to certain uh, people around the county. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, it takes two weeks. Uh, that's the lead time on getting an invitation printed. Okay, so with that though, I, I guess, how I mean, so can you get with Mike today so we can kind of get ahead of what that look or what that could be like with based on his schedule though? So we can kind of absolutely, get absolutely. I, I plan on contacting him today. Okay, okay. Um, okay, anybody else got any other suggestions to add to that? No, okay. Well, we got, is, we we'll lean on you to kind of get this done, and, and okay. I'm hoping that we'll do it within this month, correct. Well, the the infant the 
the temporary date we had was towards the end of the month, two weeks. So we're running out. We're, it would be the end of this month or the first of next month. I, okay. I would put it that way. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm open and I'm, I, I'll leave it on you guys and, and his schedule, meaning Mike's schedule, and then we'll kind of go from there though. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff in place. I mean, it's not like we haven't been working on it. We're, we've got a lot of the pre-opening uh, particulars taken care of, but there's some there's two or three things that we just need a little more time on. So, so if if, if the if the invitation is what's kind of pushing it out, some could the could the county or somebody else print them though? Because I mean. Well, we could we could check on that and see, uh, and but uh, you know they're formal invitations and we'll see what we can do. We'll certainly check on. It. Yeah, so let's let's look at somebody else so we can kind of get this done by the end of the month or before the end of the month. Okay, I, I think I think we'll make uh, the board extremely happy if we got it done prior than later. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, okay. So the goal is to get it done before the end of the month. Okay. Thank you. All yes, right. Sir. Anything else from anybody else? If okay. you all need my assistance, this is Consuelo. If you need my assistance, um, please feel free to call me as well. You got a printing okay. press? Thank you. Do you have a printing press? <laughs> have a printing press? No, but I can <laughs> connect you with one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so, Gary, if you would get with uh, Dr. Gilcrest and see, can we help? expedite this a little bit sooner than later so okay we'll do it thank you we appreciate it okay go right, moving right along okay next town uh next uh discussion item was the pumpkin town nature preserve mm -hmm. uh you know we've been working on the road to get the the soil testing equipment back to the creek we finished that project we met with the uh, engineer that runs does the soil testing he was uh okay with our road so he thinks he can navigate it okay. uh he was scheduled to do that last week and his machine broke down so we had to get his machine fixed and it was scheduled for this week and now we have the rain so right. uh he's not waiting on us uh he has a he has an avenue to get the testing done and uh hopefully he'll get that done and we'll have uh some answers on our bridge Got Very it. Soon. Got oh. it. And just just one other piece of that though, we are definitely keeping uh, Commissioner Carthen in the know, correct? Yes. Yes, good. we yeah. are. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yes, sir. Um, Splashed uh, recast. We did several weeks ago. Yes. You know, we met. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know if we wanted to do anything with that. Uh, if we wanted to wait, uh, you know, we did sort of another look to see yes. priorities and yes. uh, how we wanted to approach that. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to uh, recommend anything, Commissioner Mitchell, or uh, in. And that's what I, I was hoping that Madam Superdan was on. But however, I think what we all came up with and and. Uh, the committee you guys speak up i think we came up with a, a resolve of how we wanted to kind of restructure that laid it out and uh you guys should have gotten a copy from madam superdan or did you did you or did you not if you didn't please speak I, up. go ahead i, I have a, i'm sorry i have a list uh, yes and i can go down that list if you'd like uh or or not are you able to share it on the screen versus just reading it out so everybody can kind of take a peek at it? But if not, we can send it out. And and but I'm fine with the the, the new list, the restructuring. Madam Chair, how, what was your take on that? Did you, did you get a chance to, to review it? I did, and I'm okay with the commissioner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so okay. I, I think I think we're we're good. I think we should move forward with it and and, and uh, bring it to the full board and, and keep this thing moving. Oh yes, we. I thought we were gonna. Yep, we want to move it. Commissioner Mitchell, you want to uh, make a motion that we uh, present this to the board as as uh, the committee recommended? I will call for a motion and allow you, if you'd like to do so, and ask for a second. 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 I recommend it. Okay. Yeah, second. <laughs> right. So we got Gary making the recommendation 
Chad making the second. I'll second. Okay. Yeah. Are there any discussions on that item? Okay, no discussion. With that being said, when I call your name, just let me know kind of what's your take on this, either up or down vote. So that will be Madam Chair. Yay. Yes. Gary Dukes. Yes. Chad. Yes. Commissioner Mitchell, a yes. All righty. And so with that being said, it, it passed the motion passed unanimously with a 4 0 vote. That's great. I think that's a good step. I think it's good yes. projects. I think we can move forward and, and get some uh, much needed stuff accomplished. Well, I agree. Totally agree. On board. All right. Okay. We're making it quick. Yes. Last item I had was a Deer Lake roof update. Mm -hmm. Materials are on site. They've been delivered. Uh, I assume they're waiting on the rain to uh, stop before uh, they were actually supposed to start this week, but the rain has of course interrupted their progress, mm -hmm. but all the materials are on site and they're ready to go is my understanding. Got it. So once we get past this weather, then they'll jump on it and hopefully knock this thing out. What kind of turnaround time to get that done? Do you think Gary Once the weather kind of allows them to get, get up there though? I'm not sure. Chad, did they give us a uh, timetable for completion? Yeah, to get, yes, sir. To get the whole project done, uh, the guy mentioned on Friday that it'll take about two weeks to get the entire project done. Wow. That's quick. That's quick. Wow. I thought that's, that sounds a little long, but okay. All right. And the, with the weather, see, the weather is kind of acting funky from rain, you know, two days and then off three days and back again. So that's right. kind of, that. That's where the holdup may come around, though. So, and, and Chad, any idea how they how they plan to kind of work around that side of it, like do a portion and cover the rest i mean I, I i don't know that kind of that process he just mentioned that that they're gonna have to wait on the rain he didn't mention any type of um you know covering the building or anything like that so um no plan yeah. on on the, just gonna work around the rain i know well the way this rain is going guys is it's off and on a lot a lot so okay all righty we'll i mean we'll just get her done Okay, the last the last thing I'd like to mention, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, we have several um, changes, uh, work order changes mm -hmm. for the new activity center that the contractor is getting prices on. Um, we have about five items. Okay. Uh, three of those, I think, he has the prices on him on them but it's taking time to get prices. And uh, I know we've asked for prices for things in our department and people are so busy, they won't take the time to come and give you an estimate on anything. They're, so it, it is taking longer, but uh, the, these change orders, these five or six change orders that we have, um, is gonna take a, few more days is my uh, understanding. So mm -hmm. we would like, if possible, at some point to call a special meeting to get these approved before the next commission meeting, mm -hmm. if that's possible. Or not approved, but recommended uh, before the next commission meeting. Got it, got it. So so, so are those items gonna be covered under the splash layout of, of what we kind of had the savings or are we gonna need some additional monies? Uh, from the board or anything like that what, what for kind of these thing? for these items it'll be additional money you know how much how much more that that we're looking well at? we don't have the prices on all oh, that's the right. items, okay. that's but, right. uh, we do know that you know like sound system is going to be twenty five thousand. that's right, that's right. that'll yes. be one uh, mm -hmm. we have some extra saw that's going to be about twelve thousand uh and i think he actually has a price on the canopy that we talked about Right. Whether we do that or not, that's, you know, that's uh, something we'll have to talk about, but uh, I don't have that price yet. I think he does, but I haven't gotten it from him yet. Okay. So, Got like I said, uh, and just some other small items like a uh, flagpole with some concrete uh, for the flag, you know, around yeah. walkway to the yeah. flagpole, that type thing, and a couple of electrical uh, outlets for the elevator. Just, just, uh, and I think that's about it. Okay, got you. So, so how how long do you think before we at least have some numbers that we can toss out to everybody? And I think within a week uh, or less, maybe even this week. 
he thought he might have it all today, but several of the contractors didn't get back with him or the vendors didn't get back with him. So, you know, it's possible he could have them in the next couple of days. Got it. And, and when you do get them, can you just shoot it out to the board or the committee rather, and just kind of give us an idea of what that looks like. And we can kind of start sharing that. Yes. The entire list and, yes. the, and the price. Yes. And that way we can kind of move pretty quickly with this. So we don't want this yes. to hold up anything. So. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll do that. Got it. Okay. Anything else, Gary? I think that, that was it. That's all I have, Commissioner. Got it. Uh, does anybody have an update? Gary, have you got an update on, on uh, chess nut log uh, field, I think it is? Uh, no, Commissioner, I do not. Okay, I think sir. you said last time that you were going to touch base with, with Trent and the team over there. Yes. Yes, gotcha. sir. Gotcha. Okay. And schedule another meeting. Yeah. Sherelle, can you make sure that we make that happen? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely. Got it. Uh, let's see here. Wendy, did you have anything from Commissioner or Vice Chair Robinson that you want to add before we start breaking out? Do I break out? Uh, thank you, Commissioner Mitchell. No, uh, nothing from Commissioner Robinson, but I would like to share that um, he will be very happy to hear that Boundary Waters has gotten the CO. So great yes. job, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please let him know. Uh, let's see here, David and uh, Terry, anything on the SPLOST, any updates on the SPLOST that you guys wanna kind of hit us with? Uh, uh, for me, I uh, know, uh, cause I'm just excited, uh, like Wendy said about getting the CO and then getting and everything to the board so we can approve the, uh, the read forecast. And I know that Madam Superintendent is not here and I'm not speaking for her, but I do know that she's very happy that we have something to uh, present, and I'm sure I know we, we're getting numbers on the canopy and on everything else. So, right. uh, and that's not going to stop the process. That's right. just really going to be informational purposes. So, I'm just excited about that part. And the numbers are good. So, right. And, and speaking of Madison, assume that I just thought about it. She actually did tell us that. You know, tell me that she wouldn't. She wouldn't be here. But I thought Fred was going to actually sit in for her, though. But we'll we'll work on that later. Terry, anything on your end? No, Commissioner. Um, I think Gary covered the the miscellaneous items very well. I'm glad to hear your support. We we are what we really wanted to do was try to get a special call meeting to get these items before the committee. Yes, we can get them. Hopefully, get them on the commission meeting uh, and get them moving. So uh, we're looking for the contract to get those prices this week. You got it. As soon as you guys and, and Gary, as soon as you guys get that, please definitely share it with the team. That way, we kind of move pretty quickly on that. So okay, we'll send them out, Commissioner. You got it. Uh, James? Uh, no, I'm here for moral support. Great job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you. I, I'm excited that the uh, rec center is wrapping up. I'm looking forward to getting that project done. And I'm also glad to hear that the um, the roof's about to be complete on Deer Lake. That's been a long, long, long-term project to get done. So anyways, no, I'm happy. Happy about everything. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Gilcrest. Our seniors okay over there? Good morning. Yes, our seniors are doing well. Okay. Thank you. Um, we're still just working on the final issues on our <laughs> list at Lithia Springs Senior Center. But other than that, we're we're moving right along. Everything's going well. Is, is that is that list getting cleaned up or getting it done, or we? is being prolonged for whatever yes. reason. Yes, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're getting it cleaned up. So um, hopefully within the next two weeks, everything will be complete. Okay, okay, we're good, good. Okay, and you know, I was at the center um, and, and congratulations on the 750, I think it is thousand that you got for the senior centers and service on Fairburn Road. On Fairburn Road, absolutely, yes, so. Shout outs to Tamara Mitchell, Sabria Cobb, and Kim Smallwood. We worked together as a team and got the $750,000 grant, and we are excited. I mean, super excited. <laughs> and, 
and at my coffee and conversation, there was a couple of seniors who mentioned that and looking forward to that, and they should be reaching out to you about that. So just prepare yourself. Oh, I'm quite sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you again. I appreciate it, though. And again, Thank congratulations. You. All right. Yes, thanks. Tiffany? Good morning, Commissioner Mitchell. Um, yes, just here, um, County Administrator Subadan and uh, Deputy County Administrator Fred Perry, they are both out on county business. So she asked me just to uh, sit in, and I'm sure she's going to be so excited about the great news and all the progress being made. And I just appreciate being here this morning. Thank you. I knew I, I knew I thought I knew Superdan was out, but I, I I didn't think Fred was hanging out with us. So we got to figure out what these guys out there doing. Then no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure to let them know. Thank you. Okay. You got it, um, Madam. I mean, uh, Madam Chair, you have any any comments before we adjourn the meeting? Uh, no, I'm just excited about the CO. Everything is going well. Okay, guys. So in that vein, thank you again. And I'm going to rush out of here now to get to the 10 o'clock meeting. And thank you guys. And I appreciate it. And we'll catch up. And Gary, I, I look forward to kind of getting that information as quickly as possible. So we if needing to call a special call meeting to kind of get that thing passed and, and get it moving. So let's let's definitely get that done. But that's not that won't hold us up from moving forward with the uh, grand opening ribbon cutting, I guess, ceremony. Uh, right? No, it will not. And uh, as soon as I talk to uh, our man, I'll uh, get back with you and let let you know uh, progress. You got it. Thank you again. All right, guys, this meeting stand the journey. Thanks again. I appreciate it. All Thanks right. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, Gary, are you still on? Yeah, I'm on. Um, the the workout equipment just arrived over to the new place. I just want to let you know. Okay, great. They said they were.